Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the first episode of Johnny Dingle's Dong Bay Beer Analysis. And here we are. I'm your host, the stout slurping porter potentate himself, Jonathan Edwin Dingle. Thank you for watching. And today we have a mighty fine, mighty special episode for you. We are going to discuss snow beer, the most consumed beer in the world. Now, why have you never heard of this beer? Because it's only sold in China, and there are a lot of fucking Chinese people, so... What makes this beer so damn popular? Why does it such enthrall over a billion people? One something of the world's population. I'm not good at math. You can tell me what, what percentage is that. I don't know. Well, I feel it is incumbent upon me to elucidate the mysteries of the Orient. And with that, let's begin our beer analysis. So let's first take a look at the numbers of this, this bad boy. See what she's packing under the hood. And at the ABEV, she pulls in at a whopping 3.3%. Wow, that is not a big number. You'd have to have at least a 50-gallon stomach to get a buzz off of this shit. Well, she, uh, let's knock a point off there, but let's see how she pours into the decanter. So what's this name? The decanter. Now, this specialty piece of glassware was provided by the good people of... Beer Bash Harbin. Look at that logo. It's got Bender on it. How can you not love that? Well, I'd say the color is somewhat reminiscent of a jaundice patient. And it gives about as much head as a 75-year-old woman. That's not a lot of head. Um, well, let's see how she tastes. Do the slurpy slurpy. beer is flatter than the southern portion of Oklahoma about as robust as my 1988 Acura Integra which is not saying too much so why is this beer so damn popular well first and foremost it's cheap and people like cheap beer isn't that right that's right people like cheap beer now, I'd say overall, it's still very drinkable. I'd give it about two out of five bottles of it, which, you know, not good, not bad. It falls well short of the benchmark set by such great brews as Milwaukee's Best, Steel Reserve, and Old English. But still very drinkable. All right, well, that concludes our first episode of Dong Bay Dingus's Beer and Peanut Variety Hour. Stay tuned. Next week, we'll have another special episode. Thanks for watching. You want to say bye? Bye-bye. Shihua. <laughs>